the hour being after 6.30, I'd like to call the Tuesday, January, January 24th, 2023, Walpole School Building Committee meeting to order. I'm gonna dispense with much of the reading of the uh, acknowledgement of public participation, pardon me, and simply say that citizens with a question or comment can email mmortali at walpole.k12.ma.us or middle school project at walpole.k12.ma.us. Our next item of business is approval of the meeting minutes from December 13th. Do we have any questions or comments or a motion to approve? Motion to approve. I have a motion from Mr. Barrett. Do we have a second? Second. Second from Ms. Gallivan. Let me poll the committee. Um, Mr. Fisher. Did you say Fisher or Frischer? Fisher. Yes. Yeah, uh, Mr. Back. Barrett. Thanks. Yes. Ms. Gallivan. Yes. Dr. Goff. Yes. Mr. Connor. Mr. Connor, we'll get back to you. Ms. Santiago Taylor? Abstain. Very good. Uh, Ms. Kenny? Yes. Mr. Frischa? Yes. Back to Mr. Connor? It's not there. Mr. Senek? Yes. And I vote yes. It is a vote. Did I miss anybody? Yeah, Bill Hahn, Mark, yes. Oh, uh, Dr. Hahn, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, Ms. Gildas just joined. Okay, very good. Dr. Hahn, your vote? Yes. Very good. And uh, Jen, we're, we're voting on the meeting minutes. Do you want to vote on the minutes? Yes. Okay, very good. That is, that is a yes. It is a vote. We're going to take some other items uh, out of order if we could, because some people need to get to the select board meeting. So we're going to skip item four, the project status uh, update for now. And uh, and look at the vote to approve the vendor invoice package for the months of December, 2022. So this is to Vertex. Yeah, and you you should see on the screen that uh, this month we have a few items on, on, on here that uh, we have a compass invoice uh, and uh, the Tape invoice of 314,450. Uh, and then the, we are, we have an invoice for the owner's builder's risk insurance for the amount of $97,493. We have a credit coming back from Verizon at a, for the amount of $4,918. Uh, and then the last item is Fontaine's uh, 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 re request for payment of $1.4 million, a uh, total amount of $1.877 million dollars and seven hundred and ninety three dollars sixteen cents uh, and then the uh, the invoices um, and the um, uh, the are in the package that you should have in your package and any question from the committee any questions or comments yes I just have one question I note that uh, the insurance was uh, approximately 6,700 greater than originally planned. Was there a specific reason for that? Um, the, that's, there, there's no, um, because the original, uh, I'm gonna show the line item here that originally we, um, we way back uh, about uh, a year and a half ago or two years ago, uh, no, be beginning of, two, uh, at the end of uh, 21, um, that we estimated 90,000. And it came oh, Gene, that 90, was an estimated amount. Oh, Patrick okay. and I, I Maya thanks. got the actual, and um, that's the number they gave us. Yep, thanks. I appreciate thanks. that. Thank you. Yep. The questions? Hearing none, I would take a motion to approve the vendor invoice package for the months for the month of December 2022. So moved. All right, I have a motion from Dr. Hahn. Do we have a second? Second. Second, second from Dr. Goff, let me pull the committee. Mr. Frischa. Yes. Mr. Barrett. Yes. Dr. Kenny. Yes. Ms. Gallivan. Yes. Ms. Giosis. 
We get back to you, Dr. Goff. Yes. Mr. Fisher. Yes. Mr. Connor. Yes. Dr. Hahn. Yes. Mr. Senek. Yes. Ms. Santiago Taylor. Yes. And I vote yes. Did I miss anybody? It is a vote. Our next item again, taking things out of order is uh, item number seven to review and vote on authorization to proceed uh, for Fontaine on the GMP. And then again, this is back to you, Chair. Oh, let me sit down. Oh, please. Um, just a little bit of background information that uh, what you're seeing here, this is a MSBA uh, tally of the, all the projects that has uh, happened in year two, 2022. And that uh, I want to draw your attention to this column that basically every single project that came in uh, over the budget. And this is uh, the latest information that as of this afternoon that there was an update and that um, uh, Fontaine has uh, proposed a draft budget uh, based on the draft GNP budget based on the 100% uh, CD set and the bid set, uh, the, the bids that received and the uh, uh, pricing that they have received. Uh, and this include addendum one, two, and three um, for the amount of 92,981,450. In order to cover that cost, uh, that going back into the overall $115 million project that uh, while we uh, were looking at different options to increase the construction budget, that with the amount that of 92 million, 981, uh, we can achieve that by, uh, that you, you will recall that we have $160,000 that is unused in the uh, A&E uh, design phase budget, and we did not. Uh, we still have one hundred and thirty-one thousand dollars in the pre-construction budget that we can move over. And if we just move another ninety thousand dollars and six hundred and twenty-four, that would a lot plus the original ninety-two at point six million dollar. That would allow us to cover the uh, upset number of ninety-two million nine eighty-one four fifty without uh, drawing any of the unspent money from feasibility or additional funds from the, um, uh, the district. Um, and we still have not touched the construction contingency. Our owner's contingency drops down to 1.89% and there's a $7,493 in addition to the 90,000 that has been drawn, uh, that's to cover the overage on the uh, uh, insurance. And so we will be able to cover the, the cost without any issue. And that was still, uh, if we want to draw down the owner's contingency down to 1%, uh, the committee can entertain uh, putting back some of the VE item uh, that we have taken uh, up to uh, $824,000. Um, and I know that this is a lot of information that I just went over in a very short amount of time. And the fact that we are on budget is uh, thanks to the entire team and the committee, uh, the discipline. And this is the first project MSBA has seen coming in on budget uh, since 2000 uh, for the last entire year, last year. And this is the first time that they have seen that. Um, and so we're seeking a vote to authorize to uh, issue the letter of authorization to proceed to Fontaine for the amount uh, stated. Um, questions, questions or comments? Uh, questions or comments, anybody? So what we need, again, the, the language is drawn up here. If somebody could uh, read this as a motion so that we could vote on it, unless anybody has any questions. Yeah, Mark, I got a question, Jeff. Yes, Jeff. Uh, Chin, what are the options other than using the owner's contingency? Um, at the moment that the, uh, we can use the owner's, contingent, owner's contingency, the reason that we are using that right now, uh, obviously you can also use a construction contingency. Um, that's also an option. At the moment, we do not have any additional uh, funds. Uh, well, in theory, we could also go to the town and ask for the unspent feasibility phase money. 
So those are the options that within the $115 million authorization that the town had to approve up, uh, as of now. So um, utilize or, is it over on any contingency? That's the only other option. I'm sorry? Using the feasibility over the owner contingency, that's the only other option? Or, or in theory that we could also ask uh, uh, Westwood, Pub, uh, I mean, Walpole Public School to contribute the $90,000. Uh, no. So that's also in theory an option, but there's no reason why uh, uh, Vertex and Compass has no problem of drawing down that uh, $90,000 in the owner's contingency because standard project goes in, uh, the MSBA standard project is uh, 5% and 1% and we are, we have additional $824,000 beyond the 90,000 in the um, owner's contingency here. So this number is normally at 1% for, for all MSBA project with very few exceptions. Thanks. Any other questions? Uh, Chin, quick one, Mark. Yeah, go ahead, Ben. Yes, Ben. Uh, uh, Chin, maybe you could just give us a very quick idea of um, what else is out there. I mean, everyone's heard 100% construction drawings. Everyone hears that this is, you know, GMP or a final GMP or whatever people want to call it. What else is out there in terms of expenditures and agreements that? that this committee needs to keep in mind for um, other funds. Okay, so um, today the vote is authorization to proceed. It's not the final GMP. We will come back in three weeks to uh, provide a GMP number after uh, a careful review of the entire package. Uh, this is to allow for Fontaine to be able to lock in the price that we have. Uh, from the file submit and then also start the submit, submittal and ordering process. In addition to the construction costs, we still have the, um, uh, the ffe &E, which is uh, furniture and equipment, uh, and as well as technology. Uh, at the moment, we have $2.9 million, uh, almost $3 million right there in terms of line item. That is still uh, to be, uh, we still need to outfit the building. And then there is a line item called miscellaneous uh, project costs uh, that these will be to cover uh, other costs that is not uh, such as uh, moving um, and other miscellaneous costs in that. Uh, so those are the remaining items that are beyond the contract uh, at the moment. Okay, yeah, that's really good information. Thanks, Chen. You're welcome. Anybody else? Yeah, Chid, one last question. You're not recommending as part of this motion that we actually bring the owner's contingency down 1% now. This no, is I am good. only asking in this right now, it's just that we're only asking the authorization to uh, proceed. And then that, with that is basically just simply drop, uh, moving $90,624 uh, 90, into the construction costs. Okay. Chen, could you pull up the previous slide with, with the, the language? Oh, sorry. So would anybody okay. like to uh, make this motion? Make the motion, man. All right. Uh, Jeff, could you read it? Chen, do you need a motion? Make a motion. It? Make a motion to authorize the town administrator to issue authorization to proceed letter to Fontaine Inc. for the Walpole Middle School project based on the bid result of a 100% construction document bid package prepared by TAP A. Architects dated 12 16 22 on the condition of the guaranteed maximum price is not to exceed $92,982,450 and that the final guaranteed maximum price to be provided to the Walpole School Building Committee on 2 14 23 for review and approval. Thanks, Jeff. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. second. All right, I have a second from Mr. Barrett. Let me pull the committee. Mr. Frischo. Yes. Mr. Barrett. Yes. Dr. Kenny. Yes. Ms. Gallivan. Yes. Ms. Gayosis. Yes, and I also wanted to say that you have a career in commercials with the way you made that motion. <laughs> oh, Jeff does. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks. One more time. Dr. Goff. Yes. Uh, Mr. Fisher. Yes. Mr. Connor. Yes. Dr. Hahn. Yes. Mr. Senek. Yes. Ms. Santiago Taylor. 
Yes. Uh, Ms. Gallivan, can I get you? Yes. And, and I vote yes, it is a vote. Our next item here is number eight, review and vote on the 100% CD submission to the MSBA. Again, back to you, Chen. Okay. Uh, Matt, would you like to uh, quickly go over that? Sure. Uh, so basically, we're putting together the conform set of documents right now. It will include all of the addenda, addenda one, two, and three. And <clears throat> that'll have basically all the changes that we made in those addendas in both the drawings and the specs. And once we get those compiled, we will send them out to everybody. And then the contractor will have them and the OPM and everybody on site will have them for construction. So all the changes are incorporated from any of those addendas. And once we have that complete, we will also submit it to the MSBA for the final submission to them for the construction package. I think the plan is currently we are getting these documents back from our consultants on January 31st. So sometime early in February, we'll make this submission to the MSBA. Any questions, anybody? Hearing none, do we have a motion uh, to vote on this submission to the MSBA? Do so moved. Like, right, I have a motion from Mr. Barrett. Do we have a, a second? Second from Ms. Gallivan. Let me pull the committee. Mr. Frischer. Yes. Uh, Mr. Yes. Barrett. Yes. Dr. Kenny. Yes. Ms. Gallivan. Yes. Ms. Giosits. Ms. Yes. Giosits. Uh, Dr. Goff. Yes. Mr. Fisher. Yes. Mr. Connor. Yes. Dr. Hahn. Yes. Mr. Senek. Yes. Ms. Santiago Taylor. Yes. And I vote yes. It is a vote. So now we'll go back to regular order. Do we have the uh, project status update, Chin? Yep. Um, so project status update. <clears throat> so that uh, the, as you recall that the uh, package number three contains the, um, the foundation. And then that you can see that from this, uh, the drone shot that uh, the foundation, this is the uh, building A or the, uh, the one of the uh, classroom wing that you can see that it, the foundation started um, and the more detailed I image of that, uh, the, uh, so this is uh, the, uh, the, the foundation wall being, um, uh, reinforcing uh, bars are being installed and, the, uh, and then uh, also that the retaining wall is continuing being installed on the job site of where, where needed and the, um, um, and this is the, the most southern wall of the uh, building in building A and the uh, preparation of the foundation and the um, footing. So this is where the construction is at right now. Uh, and I can also go over the more detailed budget line item um, for the committee that, uh, so the, this is the, uh, the budget that was approved by the MSBA and voter uh, back in December of 21 uh, is on the most left-hand column. And that um, with the adjustment uh, as of today, that in order uh, to make it work uh, is under the this column right here, uh, the current budget. We have to move a little bit, uh, $22,000 of unused cost estimating costs into the uh, reimbursable and other service to cover some of the, uh, some of the third party uh, review costs. Uh, we don't think that we would exhaust this amount. Uh, and then we have to add $7,493,93 for the owner's insurance to cover the 97,493 number, which is being paid this month. Um, and then the, where the, um, and then the, um, the, and, we are uh, drawing uh, uh, to pay uh, tap pay. We have two different uh, uh, line item in there to uh, add up to 314,450. For construction costs, this is how the 1.4 million is made up. Um, and then in addition to that, so the, there was a question about what, what else is uh, out there is that we have the uh, utility companies uh, um, uh, back charge, which we have already paid some, 
uh, and then that the uh, the their uh, testing service at two hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars, and then the other costs, which will be uh, such as moving costs, and that um, plus the furnishing and technology, um, and then the construct, uh, and then then we have the two line item in terms of construction contingency at four point six million dollars, and then we have one point eight five million on the owner's contingency, which we draw seven thousand and four hundred and ninety three dollars uh, today, and. Uh, with the vote that just uh, took place, we will draw another, um, we'll make those adjustments in the next uh, month uh, accounting and you'll see that. And there's no, uh, so we will be able to deliver the project under the uh, overall approved $115 million, um, I don't know if there's any questions from committee on any of these items. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Um, I just want to give people the uh, the next step. Uh, so now that we uh, so now that we have the vote, we'll issue the authorization to proceed letter to Fontaine, um, and Fontaine will start will initiate the contract and lock in the price that uh, for for the bid that had came came in. Uh, and then we will go through with Fontaine, Vertex, and Tape to review the scope and budget to work out the final GMP, and then come back to the committee on the uh, on the 14th of February in three weeks' time. That's everything I got right now. Does anybody have any questions or comments? Yeah, Mark, I get a quick one. Yeah, Ben. Yeah, actually, two two quick comments. Uh, one is that on February fourteenth, Chin and that final GMP discussion presentation is that going to include a scheduling component, a construction yeah. scheduling component? Yes, the construction schedule is uh, is already submitted by Fontaine, and that uh, we do not anticipate there is any major change uh, because that everything that we have done is to. Uh, meet that schedule. Um, and Joe, and um, I know that Dave is also on the line, that if you have, uh, if you can confirm and, and if I have uh, made the correct uh, representation on that. So Jim, this is Joel, we made a baseline schedule in May and uh, that's still what we're tracking on. And that's each, each one of the subcontractors that we'll contract with will own that schedule that we produced in May and it's all part of their contract. It's part of our contract uh, as well. I will pro I will provide the schedule with the uh, with the GMP detail in the package sending uh, going out for the meeting. Okay, great. Yeah. And uh, the other quick comment I had was I know uh, folks not in attendance tonight. I know that that it, I, from what I can tell, Jack neither Jack Fisher nor Jack Conroy are on, um, and I know that they always have uh, comments and uh, thoughts on things such as the GMP and, and scheduling components or whatnot. So, if it would probably make sense to to reach out to them directly to make sure that what we've agreed on tonight is also something that they're ready to talk about on the fourteenth as well, just so that. The, the whole group, the whole committee is is on the same page and there's no surprises uh, in any meeting coming up. You know what I mean? We, we will make sure that uh, that happens and I will yeah, send great. the information out. Um, and my apology that I forgot to introduce Brian Cowley uh, from Vertex, who is uh, taking uh, the position that Brian Javis uh, was uh, for this project. Yep, this one, uh, yep. Introduce myself, as Chin said, to Brian Kelly. I'm a resident of Bird Middle School, and two kids that just went through there and looking forward to being part of the Walpole Middle School project. And uh, you know, we're very sad to see Brian Javis leave, and it looks like he's set up this job very well. So I'm hoping it's a smooth transition and looking forward to working with Tape and in this committee in Fontaine. So uh, it looks like it's off to a great start. Great. 
So our next item of business is uh, item number nine, the three-week look-ahead, Chin. Um, yeah, the, the three-week look-ahead is actually what's on, uh, what I showed uh, in terms of what, um, I'll put it up again. Uh, so the, uh, we will, the town would, town would uh, issue the authorization letter uh, to Fontaine, and then we will start the, uh, start the process of uh, signing up the file submit some contractor and lock in the price and initiate the submittal and the um, uh, starting to secure, uh, to procure the materials for the project uh, that is, uh, and then the Fontaine, Vertex and Tape will review the scope and budget to work out the final GMP amount and, and bring it back to the committee for review. And yes, uh, I would also include the uh, project schedule in the package going out uh, for the next meeting. Thanks, Jen. Does anybody have any final questions or comments? I would, Mark. I would just like to say, I, I know we're trying to rush through this meeting for, to get to the the select board meeting for people to have to go, but this is really good news. Like, this is something that we should should be very proud of and excited about, that we're at a good point financially. So I just wanted to make sure that that was part of the record. Thank you. Thanks, Nancy. Anybody else? Uh, would anybody like to make a motion to adjourn? So moved. I have a motion from uh, Mr. Barrett. Do I have a second? Second. Second from Mr. Senek. Let me pull the committee. Mr. Frischa. Yes. Mr. Barrett. Yes. Dr. Kenny. Yes. Ms. Gallivan. Yes. Ms. Giosits. Yes. Dr. Goff. Yes. Mr. Fisher. Yes. Mr. Connor. Yes. Dr. Hahn? Yes. Mr. Senek? Yes. Ms. Santiago Taylor? Yes. And I vote yes, it is a vote. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night now. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.